a uh, it's Monday after Easter, but we're still celebrating in our hearts, right? Jesus is always risen. Amen. Uh, this I'm reading from Luke's sketchbook, different parts of the resurrection story. Uh, we had two cloudy days, Friday and Saturday, and Sunday and Monday have been sunny. Yay. Luke 24, 33. So they rose up that very hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together. So these two guys, Cleopas, and I'm not sure who the other one is, um, just saw Jesus after his death. And all these things are going on. They can't find Jesus' body. So they were walking with Jesus. And uh, Jesus stayed with them. And they ate together. And they're like, hey, that's Jesus. And then Jesus disappeared. So they rose up that very hour. They returned to Jerusalem at once, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. Peace up. So Cleopas and the other person. It is true that the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. And as they spoke, Jesus himself stood in the middle of them and said to them, Peace be to you. So I, This one's a little faded. This one's a little better, but... Sometimes when I draw something, I just can't throw it away, you know. <laughs> so some, here's two of these drawings, two pictures of this incident. So they rose up that very hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together. They returned to Jerusalem at once, saying, The Lord is risen and has appeared to Simon. And as they spoke, Jesus himself stood in the middle of them and said to them, Peace be to you. Luke 24, 37. Oh my goodness. But they were terrified. <laughs> the dead person came back. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said to them, the disciples, oh, it's a spirit. Why are you troubled and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and feet that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. Doubts. Why do doubts arise in your heart? Rise in your heart. Look at my, handle me. That's good. <laughs> Jesus says, handle me. See, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a Spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he had showed he showed them his hands and his feet. But that while they still did not believe for joy and mar for joy and marveled, he said to them. So they the disciples have joy and marvel, but unbelief. Do you have any food here? So how can Jesus prove he is alive? Do you have any food? Where's the food? So they gave him a piece of a broiled fish and some honeycomb, and he ate it in their presence. Broiled, that's a good word. So they, Jesus took the food, I don't know if he was sitting or standing, and he ate it in their presence. Wow, he's eating. He's not a spirit. He's physical. They were terrified and frightened, and supposed they had seen a spirit, and he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and feet, that it is I myself. Handle me, see, and handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see it I have. When he had said this he showed them his hands and his feet, but while they were still did not believe for joy, for joy and marveled, he said to them, sorry, that's a hard sentence. But while they still did not believe for joy and marveled, he said to them, I have to look that up. Do you have any food here? So they gave him a piece of, bro of a broiled fish, some honeycomb, and some honeycomb, and he ate it in their presence. So I was wrong. It was a piece of the fish, not the whole fish. So this is a the correct picture. Jesus eats a piece of broiled fish, not the whole broiled fish. 
then he goes on. I'll just read the Great Commission real fast. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you as you... Yeah. These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you. That all things must be fulfilled which, which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. This is what I spoke to you. All things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning Jesus. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. We understand. God, please give us understanding. That's my prayer. Great Commission. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And thousands of years ago, all these things that were written about me, the whole Bible, I need to go get a Bible, the whole Bible, all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses the prophets and the psalms concerning Jesus. And he opened their understanding that they might see and comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Luke 24, 36, it is written, thus is, it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Christ rose this third day, necessary for Christ to suffer and for him to rise this third day. And you are witnesses of these things. We saw it. We're witnesses, eyewitnesses. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry and wait in the city of Jerusalem until you are endowed endued? <laughs> with power from on high. I send you the promise of my Father. Wait in Jerusalem till the power on, from on high comes. Until you are given power from on high. Let's read that again. Then he said to them, It is written, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endowed with the power from on high. Last page. This is intense stuff. Luke twenty four fifty, And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass while he blessed them, that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Bless you, going up to heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. There are Eleven of them returning with great joy back to Jerusalem and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Okay, didn't they go out of the temple? I don't know. Continuing praising. Continually praising and blessing God. Amen. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass, while he blessed them, that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen.